From your startup screen, click on Open, browse to your Chapter 15 folder, and open the file Chapter 15 Panel Schedules. In previous exercises, we've added a panel, we've added lighting, we've created circuits, and added those circuits to a panel. Now what we want to do is create a panel schedule. If I select the panel itself, from the contextual tab on the ribbon, we can create a panel schedule. We can choose a template or use a default template. Let's choose a template. We've got a predefined template here to a British standard and click on OK. This gives us a panel schedule with all the loads associated with the circuits. We can see the circuit numbers and the circuit designation, as well as type of wiring and the conductors that have already been selected. There's no doubt that these templates must be predefined in your project template before starting a project. Panel schedules, like any other schedules, can be placed onto a sheet. In your project browser, scroll down to sheet E601, double click to open, and then drag the panel schedule LPS2 onto the sheet. Depending on how you want to present these, you can have multiple schedules on a sheet, or you could have predefined sheet sizes, especially for distribution board schedules. From your startup screen, click on Open, browse to your Chapter 15 folder, and open the file Chapter 15 Modifying Panel Schedules. In this Level 2 lighting plan, we're going to add two more circuits to our distribution board. I'm going to select a light fitting and create a power circuit. Edit the circuit and add light fittings. The warning message tells me that a selected element is part of another circuit and they've been removed from the original one and added to this. That's fine. For the panel, I'm going to select LPS2. Click on Finish. Again, for this exercise, we can ignore this warning. I'll repeat that for the corridor lighting. Create a power circuit, edit that circuit, add the corridor lights, select LPS2 as the distribution board, and click on Finish. Now if we scroll down in the project browser, back to our panel schedule, you'll see that our loads are a little bit unbalanced. We can click on Rebalance Loads, and Revit will move the circuits around so that we do have balanced loads. The circuit references back in our plan will have changed to match the new balance.